normally when we concentrate and the sound will come automatically. And whenever we weaken our concentration, then the sound either change to another tone or become different, a low volume. Yeah. And uh, when we meditate on the light, sometimes the sound comes. Or when we meditate on the sound, the light comes. That's normal. It just shows that we have great concentration. It's fine. But uh, for our own sake, when we meditate on the light, even if the sound comes, we should ignore the sound. And when we meditate on the sound, even if the light comes, we just enjoy it but ignore it and concentrate on the sound one thing at a time, just to train our concentration. Because uh, concentration uh, brings great power and wisdom to ourselves. And sometimes when we meditate on the sound in the beginning, our mind was not yet stable and the concentration was not very strong. So the sound is a different level. Sometimes you hear you thought it's good, but this is, might not necessarily be good. See, and later, after 20 minutes or half an hour, your mind becomes more calm and clear. Then the sound becomes more stable. And that's why the light is more intense. But when the sound becomes stable, and you might think, oh, this is not good. <laughs> Don't think. Don't analyze while you meditate. Just enjoy innocently like a kid, like a child. When you see your favorite toys or something, or you eat favorite food, just enjoy it. And do not think too much. Okay? Don't use the mind. Don't activate the mind while we are in samadhi while we are in contact with God, that is with the light and the sound, which is the manifestation of God that we could perceive. Otherwise, God is inconceivable. This is the aspect of God that we could enjoy, almost like physically. Otherwise, how can you touch God? How can you hear God? How can you see God? You see? Yes, that's it. All right?